All right, so I'm gonna do a demo and hopefully it'll, it'll be just fine. <laughs> um, so, so what I'm hoping to show here um, is uh, an, an, an app, a front end and a back end app. Um, you might have seen this fortune teller demo before. Um, it's a spring app, but we converted it to Ruby because I, I like Ruby. Um, and what I'm hoping to show today is, uh, you know, uh, connecting your front end app to your back end app securely um, using uh, the, uh, some of the new features on the platform and then updating uh, your dependencies in a zero downtime manner. So let's see if, if that all works. Um, what you can see over here, um, well, I'm logged in here. Uh, we just have our fortune teller UI um, and our fortune teller server. You've got two instances of the server, three instances of the, uh, the UI, um, and uh, the UI has a route map to it. The, the server doesn't yet. And you can see our UI is over here. I'm going to click this auto refresh button. And you can uh, start to see that, hopefully, it should cycle through um, the different instances. And it is not cycling through. All right, that's uh, unfortunate. Uh, let me try pushing that again um, and, and seeing, seeing what's going on there. So CF push um, my fortune teller UI uh, with the Ruby build pack over here. Okay, well, that's working now. We, we, we're now cycling through the different instances. Um, we are not cycling through the different instances, I'm sorry. Um, so I might have to just click on this several times just to, whoa. I guess the internet is not quite working for me. Um, Smash left. This is over here. I pushed it, and it's waiting for the app to start over here. If this doesn't work out, I'm going to go to the video, but I'm going to try for, 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 for one more minute, because it's a really cool demo. Right, that's up. It really doesn't seem to want to be refreshing. Um, well, let, let's see how far we can get with, with it, and then I can skip to the, the, um, the video if needed. So uh, you can see here, um, if I want to get the front end app connected to the back end app, we will, um, I, I want to um, create an internal route for the backend app. Um, we have uh, with uh, recently uh, introduced polyglot service discovery. Um, there's this new uh, internal only domain. It's not externally accessible, apps.internal here. Um, and I can map that, um, uh, create a route and map it to uh, my backend app um, using that internal only domain. Um, and that's it. It's mapped. Um, you can see it. Uh, with CF apps, um, you can see that fortune teller server over here. Um, and then, um, but we still need to teach our front end app where that, that back end app is. Um, so uh, we can just, use, there's many ways of doing that, but we can use uh, user provided services, um, tell it where that, that back end app is on, apps.internal, um, and then we can bind the service here. And at this point, you usually have to restage. 
um, or restart your app to pick up that new configuration. Um, but actually, you can do a zero downtime restart. And because my, uh, the app isn't refreshing very much on the side, or it looks like it is, why is it doing this? Um, uh, then uh, we can actually do this zero downtime restart. And um, I wish the, the app was, would work properly for that, but it actually goes through and uh, restarts instance by instance without taking your app down. You won't have to do a blue-green deploy to achieve this configuration change, um, which is really cool. Um, moving on. Um, your app, the front-end app, still can't talk to the back-end app because we haven't actually given it um, the network policy, um, secure network policy, to allow the front-end app to talk to the back-end app. Um, so we can just add that, um, and this is a feature of uh, container networking. So we can add that network policy. You can um, see that policy defined over here. Uh, connecting the fortune teller server and the fortune teller UI. Um, and if this was cooperating with me, which I don't know why, it's not um, there. It worked, trust me, it, it really did connect only on the, that network policy part. <laughs> got more fortunes. That's, that's so awesome. It's only just now working. <laughs> um, all right. On to the, the, the next part I wanted to demo, which was um, updating your dependencies. Um, so uh, and I hope you all know um, that U Ubuntu, um, they uh, will be and uh, they're, they're moving on. They support their, their things for five years. Um, uh, the trusty version, the thing that CF Linux FS2, the stack is based on, um, will no longer get security updates as of April 2019. So you have a limited amount of time to migrate your apps using that stack from CF Linux FS2 to CF Linux FS3. And this is what I'm about to show you is very experimental. The CLI with a hidden command just became available yesterday. Um, but, but the build packs are available and you can start trying them out. Um, so here you can see, actually, um, we have a Ruby build pack that's a CF Linux FS2 um, stack and another one that's CF Linux FS3. Um, and our apps here, over here, they're actually using uh, 1404, that's CF Linux FS2. And we can actually do a zero downtime update and update the stack at the same time. So, so let's do that. And hopefully this, this will also, this too shall work. Um, so, so other things to, to note here, um, you know, uh, you'll probably want to make a plan. Uh, enable your, your, uh, your, your clients to slowly opt in, um, then change the default, and then force them all over. And you can hopefully, uh, by the time you need to force them all over, you can use this and do it very safely. Um, uh, and, it, and it's a great way to just update your dependencies, stay secure, stay up to date. Um, and as, as you'll notice with this zero downtime update, your app is not going down. I didn't have to do a blue-green deploy. Um, uh, the staging, usually uh, when, when you push again, um, your app will go down. Um, it'll, it'll stage. That might take anywhere from five to ten minutes. Um, and... Uh, and here, like this, the app is, is just working fine, cycling through. Um, at some point, you'll st see um, as each one uh, starts, the, the stack will be updated to Ubuntu 18.04 by Bionic Beaver, which will be good for, for five years. Um, and uh, you'll hopefully start to see that soonish, now that it's waiting for the app to start, and it'll go through one by one. Um, Did it, did it happen? <laughs> All right, well, it's going through. There's one, there's another one. All right. 
And that's my demo. Thank you very much.